The fact still remains that if the supply of cheap, accessible energy fails, modern civilization as we know it will come to an end, just as abruptly as does the music of an organ deprived of wind. Frederick Soddy. This gentleman lived in the late 19th and early 20th century. Born in 1877, he was a chemist and a physicist and also an economist. He died in 1956. During his young life, many of his ideas were seen as crank theory, but now they are proving to be exactly correct. This is the wiki, one of his quotes. The world's bankers have not been content to take their share of modern wealth production, great as it has been, but they have refused to allow the masses of mankind to receive theirs. He was dead set against the idea of debt-based currency, and nobody could see it at the time. Now, what does this have to do with today's video? If we were to lose the internet for a certain amount of time around the world, it would set us back decades and it would be a giant inconvenience. But make no mistake, if we were to lose the power grid, or the ability to rely on the power grid for any amount of time, we would be set back into the Dark Ages. Now what I mean, to be clear, is the ability to just go over and flip a light switch, and have that always turn on a light. If we were to get to a point in this country and around the world where power grids worked sometimes, but not others, in some places it was incredibly expensive, you could do some things, but you could not do others, that would be the end of civilization as we know it. There have been a lot of Hollywood movies and series put out about what would happen if there was a giant EMP. This is, of course, scenes from Jericho, the series from way back in the 90s. It's not going to be this one event, one bomb, because that's localized, and that can be fixed, and it's not the whole world. Something is coming that nobody is seeing, but when they look back, they'll wonder how they missed it. In our next video over at Patreon, we're going to dedicate it directly to the women in my audience, the ones who signed up over there. There are preparations that need to be made that you won't find on YouTube because information like that probably wouldn't be allowed to be very truthful. It's not going to be some bomb that goes off and then everybody reacts to it and then a year later everybody's forgotten about it. It's going to be a worldwide collapse of the power grid. Not in the sense that there will be no electricity, but the electricity will be rationed and it will be controlled. This is the key. It's not going to be like Jericho. It's going to be a lot more like Defiance. For those of you who haven't watched this series, I would highly recommend it. If you haven't joined us at Patreon... It's only $1. Believe me, the next video we're going to do, you're going to want to see, especially if you're a young woman, or a woman of any age, actually. Or do you have a wife, a sister, an aunt, a grandmother? The next video you're going to want to see. Because this is what occurs in places where there isn't regular access to civilization, so to speak, to power grids. Everything changes literally overnight. 24 cognitive biases, 24 logical fallacies. These are the things that are keeping you from seeing what's really coming down the pike. I have mentioned the collapse of Bitcoin. Way back in December, December 14th, I counseled everyone, get out of Bitcoin. Get out of all cryptocurrency right now. Get your money out as fast as possible. Number one, it's going to collapse. And number two, when it reaches a certain level of collapse, they're not going to let you get your money out. They're just going to take it. And then they're going to ban it. You know why they're going to ban it? Because it takes so much power 
to run the networks, especially crypto. Some have pushed back and said, Florida Monkey, there are others that don't. It's not going to matter how much it does or doesn't use. It will be seen as a luxury activity. And when these power grids go down, and it starts costing people's lives, when they stand them back up, the first thing they're going to do is say, no more Bitcoin miners, period. They are destroying the power grid. They're already talking about this. What would happen if Bitcoin's price crashes to zero? There, I talked about this back in December. People brownly said I was crazy, said I was nuts, that it would never happen. Well, they're talking about this now. Because everything has fallen apart for the Ponzi schemers. And this is the key. The transmission grids. We have already experienced massive supply chain issues. When you shut down the cold chain because of the lack of ability to rely on electricity, you watch governments around the world change everything about what they allow and what they don't. Expect more blackouts unless we invest in our energy grid. Energy grid, pardon me, 2019, New York. Who remembers when New York went down? And then 2021, 20, February, um, the thing in Texas. Cryptocurrencies, dirty secret. Energy consumption. This is the real key. See, this isn't, this isn't an article about will your generator run or will your solar panels work? This is about the worldwide ability to count on electricity. Those skeptics may characterize cryptocurrency as fake money, quote, worse than tulip bulbs or a greater fool scheme. It is a very real business. The market capitalization of the almost 19,000 cryptocurrencies in circulation is currently around 1.75 trillion, about the same as the GDP of Italy, the world's eighth largest economy. Even though you might not be able to buy a loaf of bread with Bitcoin at the corner store, many investors are putting a lot of legal tender money into cryptocurrencies. But crypto has a dirty little secret that is very relevant to the real world. It uses, to say a lot is an understatement, of energy. How much energy? Bitcoin by itself. The world's largest cryptocurrency currently consumes an estimated 150 terawatt hours of electricity annually, more than the entire country of Argentina. A year. 65 megatons of carbon dioxide, comparable to the emissions of Greece. And it's going nowhere but up. When the grid collapses, not if, when the grid collapses, and there are supply chain issues that have to do with cold storage, and the starvation really hits, they're going to say, okay, that's it. When we stand these grids back up, it's going to be necessary functions only. Fire, water, sewer, keeping food cold. Security forces, standing up civilization, they're not going to allow it. They're going to ban it. They're going to absolutely ban it. It's not going to be some kaboom, some meteor hit. It's going to be us doing it to ourselves. This is the primary reason the vast majority of people cannot see what's coming. It's not about a collapse of the internet. It's not even about a short-term loss of power. It's about the long-term loss of reliable power. And that's what's going to change everything. And they're going to trust me. They're going to take your money. They'll take your money and they'll arrest you. They'll seize the rigs. They'll shut them down. They know where everybody's house is. They know, especially here in Florida, they can tell you when your power's out. I remember I was asleep one night, to be very honest, and uh, I heard my phone go off. And I looked over and it says, the power is out at your house. And I got up and looked around. I'm like, well, son of a gun, it is. Slept right through it. This is going to be the key. This will be an inconvenience. 
set us back decades. This, and it's not just the loss of all power, the loss of reliable, cheap power, the ability to count on it today, tomorrow, the ability to go into your house anytime you want to and flip every single light on and turn the air conditioner down as low as you want to and run up as big a bill as you want to, you're not even going to have to, you're not even going to have that ability. They're going to limit you. You're going to have electricity for so much time and only so many hours per week total. And trust me, this is what's going to result in a new dark ages. So once again, we have a video coming up over at the Patreon channel that every woman is going to want to see because how things are going to change, nobody is talking about. People are too uncomfortable to talk about it in public. But it's the reality. And it's currently the reality in a great many places in the world, but just not here. They hide it from you. So look forward to seeing you there. Best dollar you'll ever spend. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.